Welcome to VM Blogs coverage of VMware Explorer 2023, taking place at the Venetian in Las Vegas. Today, I have the pleasure of having Zane Adam, who's the VP of Product Management at IBM Cloud. Welcome. Thank you so much, and thank you for having me. Well, I mean, everybody knows IBM, obviously, but maybe you can kind of give us a quick overview of your particular department at IBM. Yeah, sure. So as you said, everybody knows IBM. It's It's been here a long time and, and it has a massive footprint. For our department, I'm part of IBM Cloud, right? And then within IBM Cloud, we have a vast portfolio of offerings, everything from software offerings, some of them being IBM software offerings, and also uh, workload offerings, uh, software offerings like Watson X and all, which will be built on IBM Cloud and also other offerings like VMware and all that all runs within IBM Cloud. That, that's the department I'm in. And our focus is hybrid cloud at a company level and, and AI, because those are the two transformative technologies that we're betting on. And underneath that, there is a lot of software infrastructure and services that go along, right? But uh, so I am part of the cloud division within IBM. Now, we're here today to talk with you and, uh... It, it's all around VMware Explore. And with that said, uh, you know, IBM, I know, has been a great partner over the years with VMware. But if you could maybe talk a little bit about that partnership, how you uh, how you partner with VMware, what does that look like? Absolutely. Look, I, I've been lucky since I joined IBM five plus years ago, I came in to build the VMware business on IBM Cloud. That's where I started. So I, I've been part of this since day one when, when it was small. And now we are the largest, one of the largest, if not the largest VMware cloud uh, in the world, right? Over the years. So, so we've done well for our customers to build out. So our partnership with VMware has multiple layers as any other partnership, right? As it grew, we have joint development that we do with VMware, which gives us, uh, which allows us to have differentiated offerings for our customers. That's one of the core partnerships. And then the other one is joint go to market that we have with VMware. So it allows us to take our combined offerings to our customers, right? And the other core part piece of the partnership is itself the business relationship. So we have a joint technical selling and business relationship, which we have developed over 20 plus years because VMware and IBM have been partners in different parts. And in cloud, it's been nearly six plus years where we've partnered very closely with them. And we've also created joint solutions with them. Think about backup, DR, cyber recovery. So that joint innovation has allowed us to create these joint offerings that to the benefit of our customers, right? And as the workloads modernize, we, we uh, partner with VMware to modernize our offerings to meet those requirements and needs of our customers and the market itself. And what specifically does IBM offer, uh, you know, people that have VMware implementations uh, you know, you talked about your cloud offering. Uh, maybe you can kind of give us a little more detail into that and, uh, you know, why people would be interested in coming to see you guys at VMware Explorer. Well, so let's start with first, what problems do we address for the customers? And then what is it, what are we showcasing at Explorer so they can come, they should come and visit us, right? So one, over the few year, last few years, we have offered the customers a self-managed VMware environment, right? Self and IBM managed VMware environment. And if we, for lack of a better terminology, let's call it hybrid because most of our customers want to have on-prem offering of VMware running and also in the cloud, right? And there are different reasons for it. A lot of those customers are because they already have invested in the infrastructure. So they start in the cloud while running on-prem and then they move to the cloud. So that's the hybrid nature or they have a permanent, on-prem deployments and they still have a cloud deployment, right? So it's true hybrid at that sense. So over the last four or five years, that's been our focus, making sure the customer can replicate, but optimize the on-prem environment into IBM cloud and still use the same tools that they're using, the same practices, and have access to thousands of configuration within IBM Cloud for their VMware workload. And that's extremely important and has been critical for our success, the choice and the consistency. Unlike other cloud providers where it's, look, you'll move your virtual machines and now you must go run it a certain way and the choices are limited because that's by definition how 
a public cloud works versus a hybrid cloud. So that's been our core focus. And then over the year, and that's why customers' large mission critical workloads of VMware have moved to, to IBM Cloud. And that's been our focus for the large customers running uh, mission critical workload of VMware to give them that consistency. And, and that's easier said than done, right? That means we've done all the compliance work, the security work, the, the audit work, uh, all the all the certifications that need to go worldwide, all that is done. And that saves our customers a lot of uh, expenses, lack of a better word, right? Because they don't have to focus on just not the infrastructure, but they don't have to focus anymore on the compliance piece, on the security piece, on, on the solutioning piece. We do all that for them. And over the years, we've matured that offering, obviously, and we've created joint solutions for backup, DR, uh, compliance at the virtual machine level, compliance at the workload level, compliance at the infrastructure level, and we've created a richness at which which has been successful. Now what we are doing at VMA Explore, we are going to announce a, a extension of our portfolio uh, to have a multi-tenant offering also versus our current single tenant offerings. And the reason for that is as the workloads within our customers mature, they have some uh, workloads on VMware, which are highly secure and they want a dedicated single tenant, right? And and we have for them. But some of the workloads of VMware are more transient, meaning they 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 have bursting. So you need a virtual machine for a few days, a month and down, or a few hours, right? Or there are workloads where you don't need um, the, the single tenancy, which has its own um, complications when when you bring it to the cloud so we are we are going to showcase a multi-tenant offering of vmware within ibm cloud in addition to our existing portfolio of single tenant offerings and the other core thing we are also going to showcase is a cyber recovery managed cyber recovery offering so if about two quarters ago a few quarters ago i think it's two quarters we introduced cyber recovery within ibm cloud for vmware and other workloads now we are going to um, uh, uh, announce a managed cyber recovery with in partnership with IBM Consulting. So customers who want a managed cyber recovery will have access to that. And then also we are going to showcase the the the, the cloud edition uh, of VMware on IBM Cloud itself, which is which is just being announced by VMware. We, I think we are the first. No, I, we are the first partners that that are bringing that uh, cloud edition with VMware to the market. So those are the three core new things we're going to show in addition to the existing uh, offerings that we have and their next version. And that's why customers should visit, right? So they can see the breadth of the portfolio of VMware and the solutions that are built around VMware, which gives them a different view, similar but different view than what other public cl uh, cloud providers provide, which is look, one size fits all. If not, good luck to you, right? That was a, a a great explanation of the things you're offering for uh, for VMware users and why they should be coming to your booth to to find out more. Uh, and VMware Explorer is all about multi multi cloud this year. If you could maybe uh, double click, dive in a bit deeper into uh, what the IBM Cloud is about, and and kind of explore that a bit more with us. Yeah, so if I if I think about IBM Cloud is broader than just VMware, right? But but the but the strategy of what we offer goes across everything, including VMware. So that's how I'll explain. So in when a customer comes to IBM Cloud versus other clouds, right? The choice is number one. So they get single and multi-tenant offerings across most of our workloads, right? So think about SAP and others, because again, IBM caters to the large organizations very closely, including mid-tier, but right? So SAP and other workloads. So single and multi-tenant offerings, which if if I just use VM example, I don't think anybody has, they're all, all in a virtual machine multi-tenant, we, we do both. So that's one of the, the, the core strategic differences that the customers can impact. The other one is the way the way we look at the market itself. We are not, you're either cloud or nothing. IBM has been, hey, we're hybrid cloud for multiple years, and now the market is slowly catching up. So in hybrid means this multi-cloud, you can have your own data centers running, and you can have the same workload in IBM cloud running for VMware, for example, because there are security and regulatory risks, at, not risks, but requirements, especially on data storage, where some things must stay within your data center, especially if you're into regulated industry or you go into regulated industry. And the others, 
uh, workloads can move. So that's the hybrid nature or multi-cloud nature when we look at it from a IBM cloud perspective for the customer. So that's the other thing. And I know it's easier said than done that, hey, we offer the hybrid versus other public cloud, which is cloud or nothing. But that strategic difference goes into each one of each of our design points, right? So when we define and design solutions for our customers, we, we go in with a very open mind with partners like IBM Consulting, HCL, Kindrel, and others, and we help the customers place the workload or or their or, or like VMware or SAP or anything you want in the right location, whether it's public or private. IBM is neutral. Our job is to make sure the customer gets what they want, gets the ROI they want, the compliance they want, the regulation requirements they want, and regardless of uh, an agenda-driven strategy, come to my cloud or none. And that's the beauty of hybrid, right? And then our tools are constructed for that. So example, connectivity between on and off-prem, it is very tight because otherwise you can't have hybrid. Migration tools for on and off-prem, they have to be there, otherwise you can't have a hybrid. Think about compliance at the virtual machine level. We have solutions where the customer can define compliance at a VM level. And if it goes out of compliance, automatically we'll drift it back in. So we've partnered with a company like Kavionics, for example, to do that. But then that same extends to on-prem VMs. So, it, so because of our strategy of hybrid, which differentiates us from all public clouds, right? we can go and we, we have defined and designed technology that enables that unlike others, because to us, customers first, and, and we must meet their requirements rather than just drive our view of a strategy. So that's, that's what differentiates us from all others. And that's what drives the business value that we're bringing to the market. And at VMware Explorer being a big industry event for a lot of people, uh, it's a time where people make announcements of new products. And I know you said, you mentioned a few that uh, you're going to be showcasing at your booth. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about the announcements that you'll be making at the show? Yeah, like I said, look, one of the first ones is the cloud bundle, uh, cloud uh, bundle and cloud edition of um, VMware itself, right? So that, that, that will allow us to take VMware software bundles integrate them with IBM Cloud for VMware infrastructure and offer it as a service to our customers. So that's the first one, right? The other one is the managed cyber recovery. I mean, and, and ransomware goes along with cyber recovery. That is a big industry issue, as we all know, for the last few years. And, and we brought our offering, like I said, uh, two quarters ago. And then there was a requirement from a lot of our customers saying, we don't want just cyber recovery and ransomware. We want it to be managed. Uh, and so there are SLAs for recovery and others. So we're going to announce the managed version of that with IBM Consulting, right? That IBM Consulting is one of our core strengths that, that we are leveraging to drive that solution. So that's the other major announcement that we're going to make. And the third one is the multi-tenant offering of VMware. So customers can then have a choice of single tenant, multi-tenant, or a combination depending on their VMware workload. So they can drive the highest ROI by placing the the virtual machines at the in the within the right infrastructure construct, right, based on the workload that they're running within VMware VMs itself. So those are going to be our three core announcements, in addition to showcasing a portfolio that we have. Now you, you talked about your coming announcements. <clears throat> One of the other things, 2023 is just flying by. We're already, you know, three fourths of the way through. Uh as we head into 2024, what are some of the uh, big trends that are coming that that uh, IBM is kind of focused on or interested in or heading towards? AI, right? AI is the trend that we are on. And if you, if you um, the, like uh, what's an X that we announced, that is gonna, which is our uh, AI offering, and, and it has multiple flavors of AI offering, that is gonna run on IBM Cloud itself, right? And the GPUs that go underneath um, uh, the, the AI workloads and for non-AI workloads, which are available in IBM Cloud. So reality is when we look in the future, and I'm, I'm going to say future for the next 24 months, right? Because the future in our industry evolves very quickly. In the next 24 months, AI is going to be core focus. Now, AI, we're going to focus in two ways. One, what's an X? 
so customers can consume. It runs on IBM Cloud. That's where it's launching initially. And then the other one is how do we use Watson X within our own cloud itself? So think about VMware and Watson X. How do they come together, right? Or our other cloud offerings. So we are bringing Watson X into our offerings in the future, right? Where we are going to look at how do we leverage that to help customers configure uh, their virtual machines? How do we help? How do we leverage Watson X to ensure compliance is there or the customer gets an alert and things happen? How do we use Watson X to help customers um, with the architecture as they're deploying, right? So currently, all of that requires a lot of human effort. But we all know there are core patterns in there that we can use AI to go and consume and then recommend different patterns, right? And AI can be used for those pattern recognitions to help customers with the outcomes. So now I, I actually have a team in, in my organization that is actually looking to bring um, AI within our workloads, including within VMware. So when I look at the next 12 or 24 months, that's our core focus. AI for the customers to consume, what's next? AI, what's next? For IBM to consume within our cloud to make uh, it make um, the experience better, more compliant, richer for the customer. So that's going to be our core focus. Um, so lastly, uh, where can people go if they're not going to be at the event and uh, they want to look at some of these new things that you're going to be showcasing? Um, where can they go to find out more information about IBM Cloud? They can come to IBM Cloud, uh, right? So come to IBM website. You can you can consume information from there. Definitely, we have other user group and events that happen. They can join in that also, and obviously they can get in touch with IBM sales organization to go make that happen. But starting point, if you're not at Explore, come to IBM.com, come to our cloud site, go to VMware. You can serve there. But like I said, VMware is one of the core workloads that we bring in the cloud. We have a lot of others like SAP, AI. We have HPC in the cloud, right, that we are building. So the best place to explore would be just to come to IBM site and from there, consume the information you're consuming and then take the next steps to learn more or get in touch with us and we are ready to help. Well, thanks for taking the time to speak with VM Blog today and we look forward to seeing IBM Cloud over at VMware Explorer in just a few weeks. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you for having me and, and have a great event.